Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I have another unboxing from Wormwood, the Wormwood Modular Gaming Table Hobby Vault. Uh, of course, the 36 inch because that's the I have the standard width table. Um, by the way, still loving the table. It survived my house flooding. Um, it was in a room where the carpet got saturated. Um, we were able to lift it up, kind of wipe it off, put it in some plastic bags. It lived just fine, no worse for the wear. I literally had to partially dis disassemble it to move, the, you know, because I changed what room I game in with having to redo everything in my condo. So it survived moving around and it's still doing great. Now I had bought the Hobby Vault for it. Now, by the time the Hobby Vault existed, they had retired the espresso coloring. So I wasn't able to get espresso. I could have gotten whatever really dark wood that would have kind of matched for a lot of expense, or I could have done what I did do, and that is get maple, which should be a lot, like a, like a contrasting wood. Um, but the Hobby Vault, as you will see, is like a, you know, they used to have, whatever, a divider, but in the first launch of the table. But they, they said when they came out with it, like, oh, we should add storage to that. Yeah, we'll do that for the second version. So I held off on getting it, and I think I'm going to be happy that I did. So I want to get this thing out. Of the packaging. And get rid of all these straps. And it should just... Lift up. Um, wood. Okay, the uh, fabric is now white, and there it is. Great. wood. I don't know. Wow. So it's just all together. table and move packaging out. Now of course to really get the idea with it we'll have to take off a couple of leaves, toppers, and what I have in here right now is what I usually have in here. So we'll see if it works with this or if I have to remove layers, but I have a Mats by Mars mat cut down to fit inside, and a layer of felt. Now, does this add too much thickness and like the toppers won't go back on? Maybe. In which case, I'll have to figure it out. So I just remove the felt. But, um, okay. If you want to. Turn it around as I go, so that the side that says Wormwood faces Remove one more of these, so that does reveal I currently have a uh, gaming build in here. Wall of Impolage. <laughs> Anyways, so this should just, oh, yeah, very easy, okay. Uh, so it has felt in the bottom of it. Um, it has these. How did these work again? A little magnet? There. Ah. So there is a rail on both sides. This, ooh, this is scooting that as I go. That seems like it's probably gonna be fine. As long as we do that. Um, so basically, these just go in the front rail and then we'll slide into the side of this rail to keep it from tilting. Let's get both these in on both sides. forward 
leveling out the table there. All right, so we now have this where, given the um, the devices are in there, it won't lift up, it stays in. Uh, we do have a bit of space on either side, of course, because that's where like the, the actual like slide goes, it's a drawer slide. There's oh, a couple inches further back that it goes than um, you have to kind of look under here for. It doesn't quite slide out all the way. Um, it, you have to kind of give it some force to get it to push open. Um, I don't mind the, the maple with the espresso. I, I think I'm definitely happier having gone with a contrasting wood than just something kind of in the middle range. Uh, of course, you know, a cup holder inside the vault probably isn't the go-to uh, accessory. It has an accessory rail on either end, so that will work. Um, and just as a quick reference, you know, throw in some Dorman Forge, close it up. So if I need Particularly to have some uh, small, sometimes I have whatever the six by six terrain trays with little like throw in like location add-ons. They could fit in here. Obviously could fit a bunch of minis. Um, uh, so the books don't fit long ways, but a book will fit sideways, as will notes. So easy to keep track of all that. If you want to use a DM screen, you can put that here. You have lots of space on here. It will move with you. So you can kind of just keep things hidden away like that. Um, if I put, you know, if I have a Dwarven Forge build right up to it, as long as it's just the standard height of like a dungeon tile, the drawer will slide over it. Um, if it's any taller, it would not. So <laughs> that just barely fits. And obviously I have the, the mat here, which is getting a bit wrinkled up with the back and forth. Oh well. It is going to just barely fit. Now, one thing to note as far as putting the topper on is the topper has a little feet that register in, he, in the corners. Um, so it wouldn't necessarily work there. It does definitely take some force to get the drawers, but it feels like, you know, they slide well enough. I want to try something. I don't know if it'll work. Oh no, it definitely won't. I was going to see if maybe the topper would fit one in, but that would not work. So, I guess the way we do this, is we slide this up like this. Topper. And then those feet have room here. And yeah, if it's just fine, even with both the felt and that vinyl mat uh, underneath it. Um, yeah, so pretty pleased. That's, again, the uh, hobby vault in Maple. Um, I think the contrast actually works pretty well. Um, I'm pretty pleased. It's, uh, got two of these little sliders that again just go there's a you know because you could put it in the middle of the table and divide the table for two different you know sort of games whatever you want to however you want to divide it um but yeah you just sort of slide the and then you'd have a rail on both sides you can just slide them into the front rail of this and slide it into the side rail of the table and it holds it in place so yeah no i'm pretty pleased pretty glad i waited there, there was originally whatever uh 
just a table divider. But um, I skipped out on it and waited for this, and a uh, good idea. Um, because, yeah, I'm, I'm, if I ever, whenever I do use it, I'll like having the storage built in. Um, but, yeah, I will link down to Wormwood's website. I don't know if they're available, because I'd gotten it through the, you know, crowdfunding. Um, but I'm sure they will be at some point if they're not yet. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.